Hey birdies, I'm Sunshine Flying, you can call me Tia, and today we are doing our last Culpepper house renovation. Um, I'm also going to apologize in advance if you hear my cat yelling in the background. He has decided that today he has a lot to say. Um, so my apologies for that. Uh, this is the biggest apartment in Culpepper house. It is unit 20. And it was kind of a challenge to decide what I wanted to do with the layout at first. Um, if you'll remember from 17, 18, and 19 Culpepper, we had um, that kind of painted brick as the interior paint opposite the exterior brick walls. So I continued that with uh, this apartment as well. And in the end, this becomes a I believe three bedroom, three bathroom apartment. So um, what I ended up doing is putting in all kinds of good stuff for them. There's laundry room, there's you know kitchen, dining, living area, little office space, all kinds of good stuff. Um, and it can actually uh, very easily suit um, up to eight sims honestly I have it with beds set for six um, parents and four kids but you could easily um, add more if you wanted um, especially if you have the cheats that allow you to do so so um, otherwise we did keep it fairly sleek and clean on the inside um, I decided to do some accent walls. If you've ever seen me on Twitch or seen the background of my videos, you know that I uh, really like a good accent wall. I have them in my own home and um, happily put them all over the place. Um, so here in this build, we are just kind of getting that clean, uh, those clean walls set up. Um, I did get a little thrown off here about how to access all of the rooms while having like a kitchen space in the middle here. So I decided to um, add some half walls, make it a little more interesting that way, um, or add a little nook. Um, I'm kind of fiddling with it here right now, so around that corner to give us more kitchen space here and the hallway to get into the master um, or parents bedroom so uh, that door there will end up having a little hallway that leads to it um, so uh, yep there we go and I was originally going to put some like cabinets and have an open space between there but I decided not to and just to kind of leave it as a little private hallway um, and put the kitchen in here so um, I used a bunch of the new set in this build, which um, I'm sure everybody on YouTube is these days, but um, I really enjoy this new set and I enjoyed using a lot of the new stuff from it. Um, putting in like the refrigerator as well um, and just all kinds of good stuff in the kitchen. So um, it was, it was an interesting build for me. It was definitely an, a challenging layout, um, even though, you know, I went into it thinking, you know, we're just going to keep it simple and I wanted it to be somewhat in my style, but also different from the other renovations that I've done because I know a lot of them tend to look the same. But um, I think this one is similar enough to those, but with its own like unique differences that it all works out pretty well. Um, and I, I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. Um, I really did struggle with the cabinets here. I wish we had a short cabinet that went around that corner because sometimes the build just needs something like that, you know? Um, so just kind of messing with it and seeing what fit where. Um, I really hate that it clips on top of the fridge too if you have it at that uh, preset height. Um, that's pretty frustrating, honestly. So, um, did a lot of messing around with the cabinetry in this particular build. Um, but in the end, I think it, it worked out fine. Um, 
I don't know. I just, I keep messing with it here in the build and I'm like, okay, are we done yet? Are we done yet? But, uh, um, ultimately I think it, it turned out fairly nice. Um, all kinds of shelving space in there. Um, and, uh, I think this is what I leave it at, but we will see. Um, and then I decide to add a counter bar as well, just in case people want to actually like dine or hang out near the kitchen rather than, um, anywhere else. Um, I don't actually remember where the dining space is, so that might be the only dining. Um, cluttering it up a little, but not trying not to go too overboard with the clutter. Uh, I also realize I haven't put any of the flooring down yet, so um, we'll be getting to that eventually. Um, I think it, it looks like I missed a whole set of recording there, so uh, I apologize for that. Um, but we are just hopping right into the next part of it and you'll get to see everything in the final um, final screenshots. So uh, just kind of putting in the bathrooms now um, and the laundry room, trying to keep it fairly simple, you know, deep sink, washer dryer and a shelf on the wall. Um, but yeah, these renovations have been super fun. I really enjoyed making them and putting them together for you. If you haven't seen my other renovation videos yet, there is a full playlist on my YouTube channel um, of all of the um, renovations that I've done. I do reno Wednesdays, so every Wednesday you'll see a different renovation. And uh, my ultimate goal is to finish um, between builds on certain lots um, that are not apartment residential and then working on the other apartments. The goal is to completely have renovated San Myshuno probably by the end of the summer, um, but I don't know for sure if I'll be able to do it by then. It depends. Um, but the goal is ultimately to renovate all of San Myshuno and then release a save file where the only thing that's been edited is San Myshuno. Everything else will be the same. So if you don't have any of those other sets, that's totally fine because the only one that'll really matter is um, San Myshuno. So if you are interested in downloading any of these, I have not done the funky delete certain things to upload to the gallery thing. Um, I have simply just decided to wait um, until I put out that save file. So um, I am super excited that you all want to download these and use them. I appreciate that support um, and I will be sure to very loudly let folks know when everything is ready to go um, and download. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and uh, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, I am sunshineflying1 over on Twitter. I'm also on Twitch TV uh, at sunshineflying and um, I post updates on Twitter. I will update folks during my streams. So if you are interested in getting more real-time updates on my YouTube channel, definitely check out those spots. Um, that is where you'll be able to find everything up to date um, that you could possibly need to know about uh, my Sims stuff. So um, the part that we missed over um, off to the side there is the master bedroom, which is pretty standard. There's, you've got your bed, you've got, you know, um, like the seating by the window, a pretty spacious room. They have their own bathroom and um, they also have a closet that you walk through the closet to get to the bathroom. So um, you might be able to see that when we uh, zoom out. Um, otherwise in the screenshots, you'll be able to see it. But um, so I used, pretty much all of the brand new pack to build that closet um, and then the bathroom is pretty spacious and luxurious too as it is the um, master bath um, and it's all private just off of that bedroom so nobody else can get to them unless they go through the parents bedroom and uh, yeah I just thought it was a nice little kind of luxury touch to an otherwise pretty basic apartment I mean I don't think looking at the exterior you'd really think, oh, this place is going to have all this fancy stuff, um, you know, this private master suite. Um, but I don't know, I haven't actually been in a brownstone like this uh, in my life, so um, totally speculation here. Uh, I am giving the kids' rooms 
uh, different wallpaper, as you probably noticed. And um, so both of the bedrooms are shared. So the one we just finished is probably for like a child and a toddler. Um, I think I got most of the toddler stuff in here. I might have forgotten a couple pieces. Um, and then here I am also making a room for a child and a teen. Um, complete with like desk space, some musical instruments, uh, and just like, uh, I think I ended up using the sectional to do a little like ottoman in the middle of the room for sitting, hanging out, uh, what have you. Um, but I really tried to give each room like a separate personality and yeah, there's multiple ages in each room, but, um, I think they're totally fun. I, I wanted to use the under bunk bed desk as well. So, um, and then I had a lot of fun building this uh, closet wardrobe as well. I started with the curved cornered ones, but I think ultimately the the square corners are where my preference lies. Um, so I'll go through all this trouble and then just delete it and start over. So um, I appreciate your patience too while I'm working through kind of all of this new stuff. I definitely had not used the closets to their full potential by this point, so it was a learning experience for me for sure. But um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think there's a nice like arrangement of space for each of the kids that would live in this room. Um, I really had fun with this modular furniture. So. Um, and I am trying to use this uh, Dream Home Designer stuff more. I have not done the gameplay yet, but we will get there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it on stream or off stream yet, um, or as a Let's Play. So if you have a preference or want to see it as, want to see some sort of Let's Play on my channel, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I've seen from a lot of people that Let's Plays just don't get the views that uh, speed builds do. Um, and granted, I'm not all about views, but it's like sometimes it's hard to find the time to work on some of these videos. So uh, if a Let's Play is really what you wanted, um, I'd have to start to plan for that. But I would happily do that for you all. Um, just let me know in the comments what you think. Um, Otherwise, I will just keep with my Reno Wednesdays and my Build Fridays, and we'll just stick with that for a while and see what happens. So, um, I'm just finishing up this room here. I thought about doing a sofa, but instead decided on this blue ottoman. And then I just stick a couple of things on the walls to give the room a little bit more personality before I wrap up this part of the build. Um, I think for the most part everything else is pretty straightforward. The kitchen has the counter bar and a little bit of kitchen clutter. I did put some shelving and hutches in and storage as well and a nice little hall table too. So um, I would love to hear what you think of this renovation in the comments below. I tried to make it a little different than my past ones but still kind of clean and modern. Um, definitely updated unlike the last renovation video that I had uploaded. So, um, do let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, as always, stay tuned for more Reno Wednesdays, some Build Fridays, and the eventual save file where you can get all of these renovated apartments for your very own game. Thank you all so much for watching and for your comments and support. As always, I really do appreciate it. It does mean the world to me. Um, I hope you have a really awesome day and rest of your week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.